Do you love elk hunting? Well, Dave and I have some of the best cartridges you're going to need on your next elk hunt. Hello, friends and lovers. This is Dave Trillo, and you're listening to the Ammunition Guide podcast brought to you by none other than Ammo.com. Chris, today we're talking about the big boys, not the biggest boys in North America, but ranking right up there, the elk, the Rocky Mountain, the Roosevelt, whatever you want to call it. And naturally, you're not going to uh, use your 5.56 to drop one of these behemoths. Yeah, there are some caliber minimums that we need to talk about here for elk. And if you need any of these cartridges, make sure you click that link down in the description or the pinned comment. Get your free $20 off coupon from ammo.com. And while you're there, make sure you slam that like button and the subscribe button. Become a member here at ammo.com and join our ever-growing community here on YouTube. But Dave, you are absolutely right. We have got to have a bigger projectile for an elk because these things are big. They're big boys, and to kind of put it into context, uh, they recommend that you hit a whitetail with at least a thousand foot-pounds of kinetic energy. Yep. An elk, they advise 1,500 foot-pounds. And all of these cartridges on our list are definitely going to do that. Now, these are in no specific order, but we're going to start with the smallest one that we would recommend and go up from there to some of the big boys. And our first one on our list is going to be a bit of a newcomer to the shooting community, and that is the 6.5 PRC. This is a big one that, that, that was really designed for long distance shooting, but naturally mm -hmm. it's, it's exceptional power, makes it very authoritative at hundreds of yards downrange for elk. It's, it's growing quite a following. Yeah, the 6.5 PRC has a really cool history behind it. It was developed by Hornady and they basically said, okay, let's make the ideal 6.5 cartridge. And that's exactly what they came up with, with the 6.5 PRC. It's gonna give you that long range potential that if you're hunting out maybe in the Great Plains or you're gonna have a longer range shot available to you, and this little 6.5 bullet can really pack a punch. And you know, the next one on our list is gonna be a classic hunting round that can definitely take a deer and it can take an elk as well. And that's the 270 Winchester. Yeah, classic. This one is beloved for moose hunting as well, so it's certain to pack the punch you need to drop an elk. Yeah, the 270 is an incredibly versatile rifle cartridge. It's great big game hunting cartridge. has been used for basically everything across North America, except maybe bears. I don't think I'd take it bear hunting. But I mean, this thing has gone over to Africa. Jack O'Connor, of course, the, the name we have to mention, you know, attached to the 270. Yeah, no, we're legally obligated to mention Jack O'Connor when we bring up the 270. And to be sure, he wasn't dropping elephant or Cape Buffalo with this thing. The Thompson's Gazelles and Gemsbach, it just dominated over the veld. Excellent choice for elk. Uh, and another one that's a little bit newer to the scene, but I think really has the potential to kind of go somewhere, is the 6.8 Western. Astounding long-range ballistics. Just, just such exciting stats behind this round that you'd love to see it become kind of standard among the plains hunters at least this is a great choice again if you're going to be long distance hunting now you know dave touched on something that is really important to mention here and that's ammo availability and right now finding 6.8 western ammo is a task if you have one but if you really like that ballistic performance that it offers it definitely has some advantages over some of these other rounds on our list Browning and Winchester, I believe, are the only companies making 6.8 West. Just be aware of that if you want to get yourself a 6.8 Western, but definitely check into those ballistics tables. You won't be disappointed. This next round on our list, another great long-distance shooter that has been around for a while is the 7mm Remington Magnum. America's second most popular Magnum uh, rifle, Magnum rifle cartridge. Yeah, the 7mm Rem Mag is one of those cartridges that, again, really just kind of is that perfect marriage between, you know, the trajectory, the speed, and not being overly oppressive in terms of recoil. The only one to kind of keep in mind about this is uh, it's a little more available than 6.8 Western, but it's still mm -hmm. not it's still not the most popular round, so you're going to be a little bit restricted to what you what you can chamber. Yeah, that's the only downside to the 7mm Rem Mag, of course, is finding that hunting ammunition that you want to find in the loading that you like. So if you do find it, make sure you snag it all up and make sure you've always got enough rounds for hunting season. But uh, if there's one you're not going to have problems finding ammunition for, it's got to be the 308 Winchester. That's, I believe, America's second most popular centerfire rifle cartridge. So, yep. yeah, you're going to find tons of it. You're going to find cheap training ammo. And the fact is, it gets the job done. It works great on elk. Uh, it's 
It's one of the one of the three major 30 cals that are used for elk. And the fact that it's so popular kind of makes it, I think, the best first choice for a newcomer. It really is, because like you said, versatility is the name of the game with the 308. Basically anything you could possibly want with the 308. And it just does a great job. It's a really good compromise between, you know, the size of the cartridge giving you enough power versus not being so overly oppressive that it's hard to shoot or it's overly expensive to shoot. And I think that's why the 308 makes a great choice because you can buy a lot of ammo for it even in bulk. And another American classic that preceded the 308 just a little bit is the big game hunting classic, the 30-06 Springfield. Performance-wise, almost indistinguishable from the 308, and that's yep. not by accident. 308 was designed to supplant, replace the 30-06. Uh, really, it's it's you're going to get a bigger rifle with the 30-06. It has a long action instead of a short, but you're going to get the satisfaction of hunting with the quintessential American cartridge. It really is, Dave, and it's one of those ones that has taken basically every game animal on the North American continent at this point, from my understanding. And the beautiful part about the 30-06 is there are so many different types of hunting ammunition available for it because it really fell into that role after the military moved away from it after the Korean War. Mm hmm. Yep. They had all those mountains of bulk, and everyone could get a rifle for $12 in the mail, and a 30 out 6 just became the standard American hunter's round. It really has. And uh, another one that is seeing both some military service right now and is seeing a lot of work in the big game hunting community is the 300 Winchester Magnum. Always got to point out that if you ever uh, climb the fence outside the White House so you can pick roses in a rose garden, which Chris and I do not advise doing, nope. uh, some very serious people are going to be looking at you through the glass on a 300 Win Mag rifles. That is right, Dave. 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue is completely covered with 300 Win Mags. Uh, that's what the Secret Service is using on top of there right now to protect the President of the United States. An absolutely powerhouse round that has been around for quite a while and wasn't initially made to uh, protect the President, but it was made to be a big game hunting cartridge. That's true. Winchester wanted to get in on that action, so they introduced, uh, I think it was in 1962, they came out with the 300 Win Mag. And it, it just caught fire. It was beloved pretty much on introduction. Again, you're going to find that, that ammo you need to get the job done, to train, to hunt, and for a variety of applications. It really does everything you could possibly ask for. So if you're looking for one rifle to do everything, probably a 300 Win Mag is going to be one of your top choices. But yeah, that 308 Win Mag gives you a little bit flatter trajectory than the 308 and the 30 6 like we just talked about. Uh, but it does give you a little bit more pushback on the shoulder when you pull the trigger. But the performance that the 300 Win Mag gives you oftentimes can offset that if you're willing to take the recoil. And we were talking about belted magnums, and the last one that's going to make our list here for the best elk cartridges is going to be actually the belted magnum that came before the 300 Win Mag. It's the 338 Winchester Magnum. A classic. Yeah, you're going to get an even farther effective range. This one only comes second to the 6.5 PRC as far as effective range is concerned, unless I'm mistaken. I think you're right, Dave. The 338 Win Mag is just a powerhouse round. I mean, this is a big honking 338 caliber bullet going down the barrel. And uh, yeah, it definitely can get the work done. And it's a great long distance option available for you. Now, it's not a 338 Lapua Magnum. Those are two different things. But yeah, the 338 Win Mag uh, came out first before the 300 Win Mag. And uh, then, yeah, the 300 took off after that. You are going to feel the, the kick on this one. Oh, yeah. Is a, this is a hard puncher. It is. You got to pay for that power for that bigger bullet. But uh, if you want to make sure that you're putting the elk down, the 338 Win Mag is the way to go. So uh, tell me down in the comments if you're an elk hunter, what do you like carrying out in the woods? What is your go to elk cartridge? And what did we miss? What did we leave off our list that we should have included? And uh, don't put the 50 BMG because that, that's not appropriate for elk. <laughs> okay, may maybe it is. But guys, make sure you get when you're down there, leave that comments. Let us know. Make sure you click that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you out on the range.